massive wildfire covering between 500 and 1,000 acres caused more than just smoke and traffic headaches today. For Stephen Hester and many other residents nearby, it also caused panic. We heard the sirens and uh, walked outside and there's smoke everywhere. We was worried about it catching the house on fire. We started packing, getting ready to go. I got three small children, you know, and uh, they ain't here right now, but you know, it was scary. Hester lives right off Highway 90, literally across the street from the area where the fire started. We're told the flames moved rapidly. You can see even the grass in the highway median turned to ash. It's a hard job handling any kind of wild wildfire flyer. It, it's just a hard thing to contain in this type of conditions with the wind as high as it is. Moss Point Fire Chief Tommy Posey and his crew were in charge of protecting the houses nearby. He says gusty winds and dense wood were the main obstacles firefighters faced. Extremely hard place to get to. There's a lot of marsh area, uh, a lot of areas we can't get trucks and personnel to. That's the reason the, the, the heavy equipment can get out where we can. To help with that problem, they used this helicopter to drop water throughout the day. Crews also created fire breaks in an effort to keep the flames from traveling to homes and businesses. All in all, it was a combined effort between several different fire departments in both Jackson County and in Grand Bay, along with the Mississippi Forestry Commission. And their hard work did not go unnoticed by residents. I'm just thankful the firemen were here to keep it under control.